<laughs> sub. G, what's up, G? I'm always here on back in business. Okay. Like in business. Well, oh, well. actually always in business, bitch. <laughs> Yaroslava! <laughs> Channel. This is my classmate, <laughs> my classmate from Nigeria. So there's this semester course that we do, it is called History of Design. So we are done with the course for this semester. We've even done the final paper for the for the semester. So but our professor, she's so nice, she's like, kids, kids, come, 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 let, <laughs> let me take you to the museum. To this awesome museum because um, the course is about art, history of design, designers, barrows, and art deco. <laughs> art novel, art novel. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing this museum. Are you looking forward to? Ah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? What's your name? Tell your name. Yeah, yeah. So guys, new content coming up. Stay tuned. <laughs> Art deco and bows. So we are here. This is uh, the art of Polish history. So we are going to learn about some some Polish art here. I'm with my classmates here. So, so should be good. Should be fun. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Which means orzonist. 
strefa po polsku uh, jest um, strefa in English is zone. So he's like believe it, was believing, and here you can see some of his pictures. Uh, he was believing that every picture has zones, and every zone should be connected to color and form. They were not very attracted to um, literal, realistic. Come on, come on. They are? No, or not? no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Now you see me in person, I'm, I'm really crazy. So this was especially devoted to zoning the pictures, sorry, to zoning the pictures according to the colors. So you can see the portrayal of the lady. But mainly what you pay attention to is a very smooth zoning of colors and compositions. And they are very bright and colorful. And Fiste got a lot of such pictures. This one is one of the most favorite. Now something cringe. You see, it's Stanisław Ignacy Witkiewicz. Son of Stanisław Witkiewicz, who was the founder of the national style, Zakopane style. This is his son. Not the best one, to say frankly, because he was experimenting with drugs a lot. You can see the Yes. Yeah. Some of us is so uh, innocent. No, no, I am. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. He was experimenting with drugs, and under the influence, he made a lot of portraits. As you may imagine, he had not much clients after presenting them something painted like that. But still, this, this is. Um, this is the portrait of his friend Michał Romański, and of course, uh, he was experimented with uh, marijuana and um, Jesus, cocaine, morphine. So he was making a series of portraits under the drug addiction. It's up to you to find, to find what you like, because it's, uh, my choice is very personal and very. Uh, Important. The important is the 
body of fertility. And now I will shut up and you will listen to very uh, typical music of those days. Listen to Of here and the youth of socialistic um, uh, <coughs> artists, you can see a totally different approach. That woman is fertile with big views, uh, with huge um, hips. She's fertile and ready for the future. This is the case. She is deteriorating. But this was the artistic manifesto of Shabochnikov, and that was also her, um, her part of uh, counter or um, counterpart or uh, criticism of what was going on that side. So she was showing the body, the, um, the body in different stages, especially that in 1969, as far as I remember, she was diagnosed cancer. So she started exploring her body being deteriorated by the death level illness. So here, you can see Shaposhnikov nude, it's a male nude, as a matter of fact, but you will see other of her works a bit later, because it's chronological, so it's one of the earliest. But please pay attention to her, because she was one of the first Polish female artists who were showing female or, or male or human body, whatever, in a way that it was not made before. It has nothing to do with the beauty, proportion, with the uh, pleasingness to the eye. No. It has to drag your attention. It has to uh, torment you, torment your soul, torment your mind, just to see that the body is decaying. And that is natural process. Okay. Are we waiting? As you can see, close the Well, not the greatest mean of expression. It was later on in 70s or 80s when artists started to make installations. It was not the uh, typical mean of expression to make installation. But for me personally, installation is a cry of the art. This is this is the bones of my victims. <laughs> <laughs> my collection. 
It's not Jonas Stern, it's just Kanal Muzaffarov. <laughs> this is my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I will miss the time we spent together. I wish you all the best and please remember, believe your guts when you're watching out. It's a real good guide. Your body is really sensitive, it's very wise, and we are really abundant. So trust your body, trust your opinions. Uh, don't go to reviews, they are crap. <laughs> Uh, or there are friends and uh, acquaintances who want either to don't show them someone or just to uh, invigorate them. So please be open to art. Art is everyone. Art is in your beauty because you are very beautiful. Be curious, ask a question. You don't have to agree with the teacher. You have to ask a question. And I wish you all the best. And it was really a privilege to teach you. Thank you very much for being with me. If you have some questions, I'm still at your disposal. If not, I will just walk away and see <laughs> what you want to see. Okay? Thank you. Uh, Thank you to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Come to my left. Ah, yes. And now we are all like dark. Like this. <laughs>